Hi. Um, talking about the Recreational Barrel Works barrels, uh, which are watertight, airtight uh, barrels that uh, people use typically in the outdoors, canoeing, uh, activities that uh, they don't want the contents getting wet or the smells of, of foods are getting uh, out and attracting critters. So uh, these barrels are, are almost a staple of uh, most uh, canoe tripping adventures uh, nowadays. And yeah, as part of a canoe tripping um, excursion, you've got a portage. So getting this barrel across the portage is either uh, carry it by the handles or you've got a great uh, carrying harness that uh, makes it easy to throw it on like a pack and across you go. Wilderness. This harness will work on a 60 liter barrel, the large barrel, or uh, a 30 liter harness. Uh, um, it'll work on both. Now, the features of this particular harness are that it's got uh, a nice soft uh, padding here on the back pad. Uh, also the same on the shoulder straps and the hip belt. Um, now this is designed that uh, one size will fit most and it's got lots of adjustment uh, both in the, the hip belt and in the shoulder straps. So if you're a bigger person like me, then you've got uh, enough webbing that it'll reach around and, and grip you uh, on the hips. And also uh, on the shoulder straps, you can snug these down if you're a smaller person or uh, let them out um, and uh, it'll fit for, um, for you also. It's only if you're smaller than that that this uh, particular hip belt won't work. And uh, if you're smaller than that, you gotta, come on, bulk up a little. Uh, some of the other features of this particular harness are the fact that there is no webbing or, or cloth material that goes underneath the barrel. And the reason for that is that'll wear out as this gets rubbed against the ground over time if you did have some webbing or cloth underneath there. So we've avoided that so your harness um, lives on for years and uh, keeps going. Uh, the other interesting thing that we've done is on the uh, shoulder strap stabilizer straps, that's uh, used once you've got the uh, once you've got the the harness on and you want to snug it up to your body. You basically pull these straps forward. You should be able to find these. They should be hanging uh, close at hand, and you can make that adjustment just before you head off down the portage. And lastly, it's got a sternum strap that clips across the middle, and that sternum strap can be slid up and down uh, to adjust to where you want it, even when you got it on. Some of the other uh, features of this particular harness are that uh, it has an extra long strap that we've added to go over the top. Now this strap um, has lots of generous room to it so that you can put your PFD underneath here or an extra coat or, or clothed layers, cinch that down, get it out of the way, and then head across the portage. This harness also has lots of handles to help get it in and out of the canoe or up and down um, as you're putting it on and off. A uh, handle here and a couple of, of nice handles here on the back uh, for carrying it um, like this or like this. So One of the other things that we show folks uh, as a, a neat feature is to when you're doing up this top strap is to actually line up the barrel clamp so that uh, when it clamps closed it lines up with that strap and the reason for that is it's an extra security for when you're pulling this in and out of the canoe that uh, this won't pop, pop open accidentally if it gets caught on a seat or a thwart and another neat thing is if you've got a critter who's trying to get in here, it's just one more uh, barrier to uh, a clever critter being able to figure out how to open this, so. You think we'll be okay? I'm very afraid. It's a good calm morning for it. Yeah. No, we're uh, good weather, uh, very light wind. 
no waves virtually so uh, uh, we're in good shape.